you're going to be getting the vaccine next week. So how do you feel about that? I'm both excited and a little bit nervous. I'm not necessarily nervous because it's new, but nervous because I have uh, allergies and there are reports of uh, the allergic reactions that people have had. Um, between the educators that I work with, there has not been any hesitancy. They, they're all actually looking forward to being able to get back in person as safe as possible with our students. You know, teaching remotely has definitely been a challenge for a whole lot of educators, and I'm sure you are a part of that group. So what have been some of the difficulties, and you know, what, what are your hopes for the future now that we have this vaccine? Um, at first, I have to say I, I definitely really enjoyed the, the insight into my students at the beginning when everyone was kind of excited and it was still a little bit new. You know, anytime that there was a, a dog or a cat that, that was on the screen, we're like, okay, tell me about that critter and what its name is. Um, so that part was really fun. But, but now I think everyone is, is exhausted and the, the screens are draining. And sometimes it, it feels like we're just talking to a void right now, even though I know my students are there. Um, I think my biggest concern is that my students aren't getting the, the social outlet that they always do um, when they're actually in person. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to my students getting back in the classroom, um, getting a chance to actually meet my students because TSA has been virtual since the very beginning. So it's going to be like the beginning of the school year in March all over.